I've had Harper um, since November 2016. AK Productions. So to get a support animal, um, my steps were I think a little bit more unique than other people. Um, I did not own Harper um, at first. I was looking into an emotional support animal and I went to okay, Res Life in the DRC kind of to, to ask questions about like what are the requirements, uh, what are like um, the things I need to watch out for, like getting a dog, dog too big, too small. So um, I kind of talked it out with them and I went to a shelter nearby, got Harper. Um, I then, because you have to have the animal first before you can uh, apply at Karuni. So I got her and I applied so she stayed at home for a little bit and within like a week and a half they approved her and I was able to bring her to campus and you just have to kind of like meet with the DRC and you have to explain why you need an emotional support animal. You also need to register them with like the government and you also need to have a note from a doctor explaining why an emotional support dog would benefit you. Oh, completely. Um, freshman year, I was an emotional wreck. I went home all the time. I never wanted to be here. I was not very social. And once I got her over here, she um, kind of like flipped my mood. I was never really a social butterfly. I always stayed in my room. I always just kind of like didn't really do much. I had a few friends that I went out with. But once I got her, it was like people on campus who I never thought I would ever met have come and talk to me and they come and pet her. And I kind of made friendships because of her, which I'm very grateful for because those are the friendships I wouldn't have had. And I feel like I actually would have dropped out of college without an emotional support animal because I was getting so depressed and everything. Because I grew up with dogs my whole life. And I went from having dogs in my house since, the day, since I was two years old to not having a dog anymore. So it was definitely really hard, but um, even having her here is difficult, but it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, Harper is a very essential part of my life. Uh, everything revolves around her. Uh, I go to class, I come back and take care of her. If I wanna go somewhere, I make sure I take care of her all the time. And she really has helped me with my anxiety. I don't get so anxious anymore about um, being around people. Um, she also has helped my depression because again, like I had dogs at home and I came here without any, and they've always just been a part of my life and they've always made me so happy. Um, she also helps, I'm actually narcoleptic, so she also helps me get out of bed and helps me be active and helps me get outside and really kind of stay on top of my work because before I was not like doing my homework very well, I was doing like a C average, now I'm on president's list because she helps me just stay on task and keep doing my best because if I'm not doing the best then she's not getting the best. Definitely encourage it. I definitely think it's also something you need to really think about. I uh, plan for about two weeks, which I think I needed a little bit more time. Um, but I made a pros and cons list of having an animal on campus. I made a um, schedule when I um, when I had my class schedule when I got her my sophomore year. I made um, a schedule for myself saying this is the time I would wake up. This is what I would do with her. This is the amount of time I'd have to play with her, um, walk her. And um, it's definitely life changing having a dog here. It's definitely very rewarding because a lot of people come by, they come into your life, but having her on campus, you can't be in class and someone goes, hey, you wanna go get food? Hey, you wanna go to the mall? You need to come back here and take care of your animal because if you don't, there's been times I've maybe left her in there for an extra hour than she's used to and she completely tears up her bed. So it just shows me that she needs me and that I need to be here for her. I'm not here for the college experience. I'm here to get my degree and go on in life. I'm not here to go out all the time and party. I'm here to get my degree and like I'm looking forward to like my future.